Welcome back to Bailey McKenzie Shipwrecks, I'm JP Fallace and welcome back to the channel where we take you on a dive. Completely free and you don't even need to get wet. Our first dive is down into a head in about 20 metres. We're going to be heading down the side of this reef into 33 metres, 34 metres onto a, a nice smooth sandbank. We're after scallops and we're not going to find the scallops on top of the reef. As you can see it's big boulders everywhere. Should be loads of fish around here, I can see some already. There's a female cuckoo wrasse and some pelt. Some other smaller wrasse. I'm just waiting for Mish to come down behind me. And we're going to have a quick look around here, I'll already see a sea cucumber. Looks pretty bland without the lights on so we'll get the lights ready. It's about time we dropped off the edge of this reef right the way down into the sand. So here goes. Kind of expected to see some pink sea fans. There's a few round here by the looks of it. Pretty cool when you look back up the reef and you're in its silhouette. Let's take a good look at these. This thing here is a pink sea fan, but it's orange. You get two different colours and you can get a white one, which is also called a pink sea fan. So confusion under the sea. And if I had my lights turned off, it probably would have been a slightly pinkish colour. Because you lose the reds all the way through the rainbow first. Water absorbs the red colour. Heading down to the bottom of the reef now, we're probably about 26, 27 metres. See loads of spider crabs there. In between the boulders, this is ideal place for if you want to fish for congas, because there's normally congas under all of these rocks. And there tends to be quite a few crabs around as well. Almost there, loads of sea squirts. A few nice collared starfish. And this is where we need to be. Right down onto the sand, this is where the scallops like to be as well. Oh, good start. I can see two straight away and they look like beauties. Can you see them? Quite well camouflage. One's easier to see, this one's easy, and that one's slightly harder. But off to a good start. Fingers crossed down at this depth, and the deeper you go, the bigger the scallops tend to be. There's going to be some nice scallops around here. 31 metres. From the bottom, you can't even see the top of the reef. Kind of just blurs out into the distance. So let's carry on and have a good look around here.
some nice big male spiders around here but this year the spiders have been really really poor and not just the spiders the brown crab as well I know fishermen are really having to struggle to get this type of crab it might seem loads when we go diving but believe me there's not not as much as we've seen previously five years ago maybe ten years ago they were huge huge numbers starting to shallow up now I'll put back up onto this sandbank there is a few more crabs around here some of them are just on the edge of your vision you can tell they're crabs because they are kind of moving a little bit I'm sure we'll go and get some in a minute we'll go and have a look just get the rest of these scallops first a huge dragonette fish there. Eh? Probably one of the biggest ones I've seen. Let's take a look at these crabs now. Look, all very slow moving. I would have thought some of them would have molted their shell by now. Some of them have got large barnacles on. And I know some of these barnacles can be, well I don't really know much about it, but some of the barnacles apparently are like a parasitic and the crabs can't actually molt their shell take it and they die if they don't molt I'm not sure the size of that that's huge look at that bigger than mesh that's a lovely lovely skull like that and look how deep it is let's check our deco oh, we've got three minutes until we go into deco then we got to go up first dive of the day and we want to be doing two so we can't push our lock too much but they do look pretty scabby let's scatter them you see there the male protecting his female and there's loads they're all round here all little clumps of them they're quite active let's scatter them see what they do It's a huge clam. Two minutes left and then we're gonna have to head up. Just check with Mish, she's happy with two minutes. Quite a lot of these are female. Easy to tell the males to the female. The males have got large, really long claws, and the females have got little tiny ones. So I just head up. We've done okay ish. I think I might have just been mesh. Well, that was quite poor. I had 17 and Mish had uh, 12. So, Matt's going now. It's a bit bumpy, bumpy. Coast Guard, message received to change channel 82 and standby. Let's go now. You're good. Top secret location, we can't show the plotter. Don't move 
Same bit. That's it. <laughs> oh my god! We're sinking! Quick turn the bilge on! That's just for Max Water to come aboard. Don't know how he does it. Skillful. That viz looks really good. But it's just a little bit dark. Miss, watch your line, you're gonna get tangled! Oh no, it's perfectly fine. <laughs> Up around the derrick, through the winch. Just hope there's some boffs on the end now. <laughs> Matt's got his own line now. That's all the thicker stuff and it goes into leaded for the last few, so the leaded part sinks and the other part floats on the water so it'll go over the top of the reefs. When we say leaded rope, there's lead wrapped in the uh, in the layer of the rope. Little thin bits of lead. really don't want to get Matt's new line in the propeller because that was the running joke that it would take a couple of days before it goes into the propeller so it always does when it's new like you see that's what I mean the, the first bit sinks and in the middle part it rises up like a McDonald's sign or well, one, one half of a McDonald's sign he's pulling it deeper don't know where the buffs are going there the other side of the boat Shame it's overcast. Otherwise that would have been a really nice colourful dive. With the alien crabs. Quite a few. Yeah, I think my ten dozen's a bit of a, a bit high. Eight dozen I reckon. This could have won this one with six dozen. Into Fermain, maybe? Mark, me and Mitch want to go to the same place that you just put us. Yeah. So we're going to Fermain. Yeah. Pick a mooring. Gonna run into there. Get out of the swell. Yo, Blue Peter music. Matt, are we allowed to moor on this one? Uh, it says private. Where? We're private people. So. Where? Oh yeah, we're very private. <laughs> I think it's... That's the name of the boat. Pri 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 Privata. Yeah, That's <laughs> French. <laughs> or help yourself. Yeah. <laughs> It's all right, we're only hanging on it for now, while we have a sausage roll. Give it a wash. Yeah, I, I want to get up and get there. Someone casted at us from the lighthouse and they've lost their fishing gear up there, look. Some feathers. Yeah. That's the problem, when we go past the lighthouse, people cast at us. Dennis, we're nothing. Look at that. Shame it wasn't sunny. Imagine living up in that one of them houses up there, look. Yeah, yeah, awesome. I don't know who it is. This is where Matt knew he hey. up. It'd have to be a lot of them white ones that uh, go in the jacuzzis in the snow. The white monkeys. What are they called? What are they called? Them white monkeys in the snow in Japan. Monkeys, <laughs> just called white monkeys. 
Right, miss, get it on a line and let's get some mackerel. There's just one. Jesus. Yeah, watch where you're standing up there. Oh, he's going to do the bombshell. I can see it in his face. <laughs> 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 quickest way down. It is the quickest and safest. I didn't fancy the walk back down again. Sausage. I'm not too sure I could make that. Yeah, use gravity to your advantage. Sausage roll time. Dive dive two. See if we can do better on the scallops this time. Always interesting when I'm swimming down to what sort of bottom I'll land on. Nine times out of ten it's sand, but sometimes you land down on the reef randomly sometimes you look at what you've hit down on and it kind of evolves as you get closer some of it can even have outlines like a motorbike or a car or some sort of pattern but when you get down closer it's just a set of rocks but this one here and what it looks like it look like a side angle of a tank with a barrel i don't know or a car No, nope, definitely just a set of rocks. Tide, as you can see, is just starting now. We're looking at a bit of seaweed drifting to our left. So this is what we need, really. For, for scallop diving, you need a little bit of current, a little bit of tide to carry along. The lost crab pot. I can already see there's nothing inside it, so I'm not going to waste my time. Very colourful, though. It's got some sort of empty shell on top. Well, it's the bottom half of a scallop shell. Pretty cool. Been down there a while, I'm guessing. You can tell this is an area with loads and loads of tide because of this pink sea fan. I really don't get what they're called pink sea fans. I've never seen a pink one. I've seen loads of orange and loads of white. There's a man-made jug down here. Looks like a rubber hose of some sort. Probably off a fishing boat, maybe a deck wash hose or something. Always tend to sort of make up stuff in my mind when I'm diving along looking at stuff like that. Kind of wondering how it got to the bottom of the sea. Yeah, some nice tide here. Look at that tumbleweed. So you get tumbleweeds under the sea as well. Some pelt, come and say hello. They want us to follow. Unfortunately, I can't follow him today because the tide is too strong and my line is pulling me over the reef. Huge balan wrasse. These nice whitey silvery ones tend to be living right next to the sand, so probably lives around here somewhere. cable we've seen. There's a little coma hiding underneath there, trying to stay out of the tide.
Plenty of big reefs around here. The ones that you've got to make a decision. Are you going to go to the left of it and go a lot deeper? Or are we going to go to the right? As it's fairly early in the dive, I think we're going to go left. Try and get a bit of depth as well. Yeah, the ground looks quite good for scallops. Getting close, see if we can see anything in the crevices. I'm sure there'll probably be some crayfish on this reef a bit further up. But we're looking for scallops, so we're going to stay down towards the bottom. That looks like an old bottle, blob top. Some weird shapes down here, like this one. Can you guess what that is? It's a truck battery. Now don't ask me how that fell in the sea all the way out here. I'm sure someone probably knows the story. Only five minutes left. I don't ever remember seeing this many baked bean sea squirts. They seem to be everywhere now. All these on this rock are sea squirts, even in pink looking things. They're called Apolidium elegans. Well, I think that's how you say it anyway. They almost look like little hot cross buns, but pink with a cross in the middle. Sort of. Or is that me just being really knocked? I don't think I'm knocked. Okay, I'm starting to get worried now. It looks like she's got more than me. Yeah, we're going to have to head shallower, so we're going to have to go up this little sandbank. This is going to be harder than it looks because my line is pulling back sort of over my left shoulder in the opposite way of the way we want to be going. And it's really interesting the fact that we're right in the lee of this reef. See the seaweed? perfectly stable where it is that's when the tide is coming around from both sides uh, from the underside and the sides of it and the top and it just holds it just like a ball of seaweed just floating big water not moving anywhere I think that's what happened to me on that really fast uh, drift dive where Phil had his rope caught around the back of the reef yeah I don't want that happening again it's a shock a mermaid's purse or a shark's egg See loads of big fish down to my left, obviously all wrasse. And these little pesky fish seem to be everywhere. Almost see more coma than um, female cuckoo wrasse now. Seems to have completely shifted. Yeah, they're wrasse. You can see them there just trying to chill out on the rock. I'm 
sure you've seen a skull up there. Yeah, look at the size of that one. It's hidden under some dead ones. Yeah, can't hide from me. It's not often I go through, well, a day's diving and not see a crayfish at the moment, so... Looks like it's going to be one of them days where we just don't see one. That's unfortunate. I can see someone hiding now. Just move to the left a little bit so you'll be able to see him. Turn my lights on as well. Just to my right is that coma fish. He's trying to hide behind this bit of sponge. He, he thinks I can't see him. any nudibranchs for a long time I can't see any here which is weird because this is the sort of stuff they eat when you look for them you can look for the stuff they eat rather than look for them themselves <laughs> looks like she's taking her pics we've got to continue now this, we're in the sort of lee of this reef so it doesn't feel like there's any tide pushing on me but believe me my line is trying to yank out my hand so we'll just continue on, try and get a little bit shallower. Crayfish. Awesome. Right, I'm almost at sort of 90 degrees now, so we better start heading in that direction. Clip our mesh's bag and then I'll reel both of them up. It's going to pull us back the way we've came now. Oh, well, at least we'll be able to skip over the top of the reefs and have a good look. We better be going up. Oh, 
I don't know what happened to the weather while we were down. It's gone horrendous. It's gone all misty misty. I don't see Keeney come back out yet. No, Kenny ain't been out. Kenny's going out. He's doing chartering. He might get I'll wet as well. I'll bet he gets cancelled. Can't cancel in this weather. This is lovely. This is gorgeous, yeah. This is what August is all about, eh? I'm wetter on the boat than in the water. I love summer in Guernsey. Best day of the year. Yeah, must be all knee week coming. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. Let me move back up to that mark. We're going south pretty quick, which is good. Should be no issue for when the clipper comes out. You can't even see the clipper. It's in the arbor. As scheduled at uh, 11.30, it's now 11.10. But Matt's gonna go south so quick, he ain't gonna cause any hassle. Radio the arbor. Arbor okay with it. Well, the thing is, we can rev Matt up if there's any issues, or we can give his buff a, a three or four pulls and he comes straight up. Rules of the boat. Not, not yet, mate, wait there. We are drifting south quick. Yeah. You want to go there, don't you? It's a fair bit of time. You want to go right on that, don't you? Because I don't want to hit far right. Nope, I don't blame you. Just oh. out of touch. Yeah. Okie okay. doke, we're on the marks, we're on the money. Going to stern. See you in 25. Yeah, he's good. He's good. 14 fathoms of rope going out now. Ah, oh, look at it. Meant to be going to the agricultural show this afternoon. Better improve. Keep an eye on Matt's line going out, as long as it goes out forward, not backwards. Like I say, we don't want to put it through the back fan. Yep. Yep. Through the rear wheel. Beauty is, there's only Matt going in on his own, so we can just follow his boss closely. Not that we're going to lose sight of him, we won't lose sight of him. Oh well, 20 minutes, let's uh, make a log of the time. Yep, bang on 10, 11, 12. See how he does. Didn't do so well on that one. Funny, I don't know why. Pushing back against the tide now. We're only doing four and a half knots. She's capable of going seven. with seven the hole in the wheelhouse. Out <laughs> seven the hole in the wheelhouse. Apart from the uh, deckhand, John. <laughs> I can't see anything through this window. Oh well. 
Thanks for coming along. I appreciate you making it this far. Almost 40 minutes of watching me dive. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you on the next tide.